He said that uh, uh, knowledge uh, is something very important and everybody needs it. But also, uh, you cannot give knowledge to everybody. So you look at the person's character. If he has good character, you are confident that he will use this knowledge for uh, the good, then you can give him the knowledge. Other than that, you don't. He said, gun, for example, is available here, and it's, everybody can get it. But if you go, then you're not going to get it like that. They have to do to know whether you are, uh, you deserve it or not. Oh, he said he wants to add to that. He said he wants to add to that. Anga mo bob mo lo, so ali mo ka mani ba na kali. Iba fa ko karsa ni ani ma me karsa na kota. Tro tro do dere tinda wari de. Me ka ti wari ni mano. Fura ti go fa na ka fa mo de koro. A ti te wari ka wari kora. Iba tu bula ugi don, ti jugo don, ti se ma fa ti. Alo ni a ti mo de koro, ti te wari a koro. Se pro ba dem se mo na na kosa mo ruba fa ti ka fura so mo. Ni ko ma ko fura so mo fa to ya o kere ni. So we'll go for it, it means we'll see in Carlin to throw it in. He said that knowledge was not exchanged for money or material things. So if you needed knowledge, you had to be with the person for a while so that the person can study you and know that you can preserve this knowledge and then give it to you. But today, what happens is most of uh, young guys, when they come, they want to know how much is this knowledge. <laughs> so then the uh, elderly people don't want to change it, this kind of thing. Yeah. Mumba to Frafindonia Munuflen, Amsekalabla, 
He said, uh, um, they work with the um, modern uh, doctors. He himself has a doctor, a modern doctor in his um, pharmacy. He said, uh, there is a difference between the way they work. When Europeans came, they came with medicine, and it has been more than 100 years, and they never taught anybody the origin of their medicine, or their drugs. So for him, they know the origin of their drugs. So that's the most important thing. They keep that, and they also know their limits. If they are working with modern doctors, and there is a sickness that they cannot really deal with, they will send it immediately, so expedite it to the hospital. But if they can heal it, as sometimes some modern doctors also know that there are some sickness, they will only do uh, surgical operations. Uh, but for them, they can fix it without that. So they will also send them to, to the traditional therapies. So um, they work together. He said their relationship is a complementary uh, relationship. Can I just ask one? Uh, nobody's asked any questions about the education system or about the future of co script in the education system. And uh, I mean, the most remarkable thing about it is that in, in Mali, since the 1970s, they've had these experimental schools where they teach in Malian languages with Latin script. And then the World Bank came in in the late 80s or the 90s and did a 10-year project which was called PRODEC, trying to introduce the languages over a 10-year period. And, and to my knowledge, they're no longer using uh, national languages in the formal education system. But this NCO is outside of the formal education system so far, but I'd like to know what maybe Dian or you see as the future of UNCO in the formal education system. Because it's already accomplished more for Malian languages, the, the most important Malian language, than was ever accomplished by the French school or the, the formal education sector. Uh, <laughs> Mm. <laughs> Yaro, 
So he got two answers here. Uh, first from uh, Karamogo Jare. He said uh, he sees the future of Muko as bright as it can be. Um, not because the government will take it. Uh, in fact, he's not even uh, eager to see the government taking Muko. Uh, the reason is governments are government are constituted of